Hi, I'm back again. Um, what I'm going to show you is that uh, how I actually secure my helmet um, with a light on top, right, with a battery pack. Usually you can actually put it in the back, but uh, if you do not have a bag, um, these are the alternative uh, method of actually uh, doing it. It's, uh, it comes with a Velcro, I mean uh, this is not nicely done, you can actually always uh, make it a little bit cleaner. Uh, and obviously of course uh, it's going to be heavy, uh, but whatever works, you know. I mean, uh, end of the day, if, if the ride is going to be about in half an hour to an hour, uh, I think this is still uh, bearable. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust it. Uh, I'm going to wear my helmet. As you can see, that the lights are actually bright now. You actually see. Alright, so uh, let's just. Fine. You can see my face. Kind of silly, like a minor, but uh, it actually works, right? So you can see I've got my light switch on. So what's going to be the best compromise for night riding would actually be um, having a flat light and also the main beam. All right, Just give me a second while I take away uh, the bicycle stand. All right, you can see how high intensity. Uh, the whole light is going to be so what I have on my helmet is basically allow me to actually see uh, where I'm actually pointing right and uh, what I have on the handlebar will actually allow me uh, to have a good spread of light so I mean uh, some will say that this is overkill right so I'm just going to try to ride so see I'm actually and you can actually see how the light perform. Right. This is how bright it is. So the length of a basketball court, as you can see here, it's not really going to be an issue. Actually, if you just come here, actually. good idea right this I'm actually at the uh, edge of the three point three pointer right there you go the line this is uh, the 808 right in front of here it's following my head as I'm moving I'm pointing up you can actually see uh, close to a length of a basketball court I think about what about 30 meters yeah safely um, you are actually illuminated for about 30 meters and um, the supplementary light the 816 and the 1004 lumens is actually um, putting up everything pretty pretty nice so what I'm going to do I'm going to switch off the 808 and uh, you can see that the uh, 816 is actually um, illuminating or how should I say that, that, that it's actually giving you a good spread of light, right? It's giving you a good spread of light. There you go. So even with the 816, you can actually uh, ride in the darkness. Um, but if you're going to be going through a technical uh, trail, it's best, that it's best that you get another one which actually points to where you are looking, right? So I conclude my um, review. Uh, by cycling back to where I actually started, which is actually uh, somewhere there. It's a little bit hazy. Um, API is actually reading uh, close to about 136 in Shah Alam. Sorry, in Klang. Um, you can actually pretty much see uh, the effect. You can actually see everything is actually being uh, reflected back again. Right? I'm going to cycle back to uh, the far tree there. Right? This is... Uh, and, uh, Cycling so in one hand, hopefully I don't fall. If I fall, it's going to be embarrassing, man. Okay. That's the bell. Hey, I 
I left my bicycle stand there. You can actually see her uh, cycling close to about 100 meters. Alright. Okay. There's a reflector on the roadside. And uh, again, basketball court. It's on the far end. The drums. Thank you very much.